Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle and today it's like a rainy day outside and I thought, you know what? It's raining outside. I think I want to come and chill and hang out and talk to you guys. So I wanted to come and share with you my empties, which are products that I have used up or have almost used up in the last few months or so. So I was watching one of the videos from one of my favorite YouTubers, God's Design, Patricia, and she did a video on her empties, products that she used up, and I thought, that's a fabulous idea. I have a ton of products that I've used up that I do want to share with you guys. Some I liked, some I didn't like. This is the first time I've ever done a video like this, so let me know if this is something that you would like me to continue. I do have quite a few products. I have about 15 things that I'm going to talk about. So if you want, go ahead and sit back, get some tea, get some coffee, whatever, chill with me, and let's get through these products. So this first product is from Lush. Lush is a brand you'll find in a lot of malls. They have like really natural kind of products. They smell really good. And this is called Celebrate and it's a hand and body lotion. So it's one of those really, really thick, completely empty, one of those really thick body creams. Their body creams are so bomb. Oh my gosh, they're so good. This particular one I wasn't a fan of because I didn't like the way it smelled. Um, it has this like really sweet, scent that kind of smells like Fruit Loops or you know those vitamins you took when you were a kid? It kind of smells like those vitamins. It's like this weird, I don't know. I didn't like the way it smelled. Um, there is cognac in here, cognac oil. So maybe that's what made it smell like that because the oil is from grapes and it gives like a sweet fruity aroma and I wasn't a fan. But the actual performance of it was really good. It's just not something I would ever repurchase. Next I have this candle. The company is called Vineyard Hill and I got this from Target. Target. I got the really small one but they have three different sizes and this scent is vanilla bean and myrrh. I like the way this smelled a lot. It kind of smelled like vanilla that was burnt and I love anything vanilla so it smelled really good. Ooh, I love the way it smells and I really like the jar I just like the way that they package their items like this kind of gray color looks really nice in the home um, It was just really nice But the only thing I didn't like is that when it got really close to the bottom like most candles do um, The little wick is so small that you can't light it So there's like a chunk of it as you can see that didn't get burned and I know this happens with almost every candle But I kind of feel like this was a lot wasted a lot more wasted than usual, but yeah. Next, I have this toner from Chanel, and it's their Lotion Du Cier. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it is their toner. Oh, I love this toner. It's not finished, but I kind of wanted to come and show you. It's a big bottle, which is great, because a big bottle lasts a long time. Let's see how many ounces. It's 6.8 fluid ounces. Um, this toner, my skin is very much like combination. I have oily skin, that's for sure. My T-zone is an oil town, but the rest of my face is really normal. This toner was perfect because it went on my face like, <sighs> how do I explain it? It didn't feel like it was stripping my skin in any kind of way. It almost felt like it was even putting moisture onto my face, but not enough to like be real moisture. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to tell you guys, but I love this toner a lot. This is a really good toner. It says it's an anti-pollution, it's gentle hydrating toner. Balance and anti-pollution. Good stuff. The next thing I have is this perfume from Balenciaga Petit, and it's called Flora Botanica. I've had this perfume for years. It takes me so long to run through perfume, but it smells super good. Ooh, it's like this very fresh, floral, sexy smell. I've talked about this perfume quite a bit in my vlogs on my vlog channel, and if you haven't watched my vlog channel, you can go ahead and click the link below so you can check out that channel. But yeah, I talk about it a lot on that channel. It smells so good. This is a pricey brand, so it definitely did cost a pretty penny, but it's strong enough to where people can smell it on you. Lots of compliments, very floral, very just kind of beautiful. I love it. Next is this foundation. I recently talked about this in one of my other videos, and it is from Hourglass, and it's called Immaculate. This is a oil-free liquid powder foundation, so it dries on your face like a powder. If you have oily skin, this foundation will be your best friend. Oh, ever. I truly enjoy using it for my face. Um, it dries really fast. The only, my biggest complaint, and it's a very legitimate complaint, is that the color did not match my skin. I thought this foundation was like magic. When I put it on my skin, I was just in love, love at first sight. 
but like I said the color did not match me and this is the darkest color that they have which is in chestnut and I think it's ridiculous because if you take a look at how dark it actually even is this is not dark this isn't even dark like this is like medium brown there's a million other shades after this so to me this is not it's very disappointing very very disappointing um, to have such a great foundation and not be able to have it in my skin tone okay here's another product from lush and it's called ocean salt had it for a very long time which is why it's so dirty it's old now this is a self-preserving one meaning this one does not have any preservatives in it okay um, I'm done using this so this is a face and body scrub so it has sea salt in here this stuff was actually pretty cool um, how you use it is like you put it on your face and it's very grainy very grainy it smells so good but it's very grainy um, one thing you have to realize about this though is that if you cannot leave it on your skin for more than like 30 seconds because it has salt in it the salt will start burning your face so you cannot leave it on long but once you rinse it off it does leave this like really nice soft film on your skin which is nice I just felt like it was kind of messy um, it's not something I would repurchase because although I, I do think that it was nice to use it I didn't see a huge improvement in my skin or anything like that um, I just felt like it was kind of just like a nice routine kind of thing to do but the results weren't really anything to talk about so I won't be repurchasing but I do think it was a decent product next is a lotion from Jo Malone Jo Malone London and it's a white jasmine and mint body cream it's a glass jar Jo Malone is a skincare and perfume line um, it is based in London but there's stores everywhere their stuff is so nice their perfumes are really concentrated they smell so good and the cool thing is they have like a whole line of perfumes and you can kind of mix and match them so you can create your own scents by mixing the perfumes if you put a little bit on your skin so yeah it is a little pricey well it's a lot pricey actually um, but I got this lotion a while ago um, it is a thick cream for your skin I did not like the smell of this you probably think like well why did you buy it if you didn't like the smell of it I don't know it wasn't really that moisturizing as far as I'm concerned there are a couple brands who have like very moisturizing body lotion and body lotions are really important to me I'm really big on skincare and body care really 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 big on that and it wasn't moisturizing but it did smell good it was a very very heavy perfume scent so you did not have to wear perfume if you wore it which is cool I'm trying to figure out what it smells like <laughs> um, I don't know it smells kind of powdery I guess you could say a little powdery I'm just it does not smell good at all to me next is a foundation from Estee Lauder and it is their double wear foundation this is my staple foundation for work um, the color I have it in is rich mahogany they have a ton of different colors um, let me tell you a little bit about this foundation why this is my work foundation is because it is zero transfer it is a no transfer foundation so you put it on your skin and it's matte for the most part it is mattifying it's not like super super matte but um, it's it's pretty matte and it doesn't move so if you touch your face and you touched a piece of white paper it does not come off so that's why I use it for work because I don't want my paperwork ever getting dirty or you know filled with makeup and so this is the only foundation I have ever come across that does not transfer so that's why I love this foundation and it will continue to be my staple foundation for work they do have a ton of different colors which I've gotten a little tricked by because I went to like a Nordstrom to buy it and then one time I went to a Macy's to buy it and the color wasn't at Macy's it was like a completely different color and it was just confusing and then online some of the colors were different their color system they need to work that out because I feel like it's very hard um, you just need to make sure that you write down the color that you got don't even try and figure it out in the store because there's a really wide range but yeah this foundation is really good it's really really good next is a product from May Lindstrom now I did a video last year on May Lindstrom May Lindstrom is a natural um, skincare line and this is her Jasmine Garden Botanical Mist I like May Lindstrom I liked her products I love the packaging I love the vibe of her website um, the products some of her products are super high performing like amazing her mud um, the mud wash 
I love it. I don't even have it with me, but I finished that. I love it. But it just kind of seems really messy. Her products are really messy to use, and I'm always on the go. I don't have time to be like mixing stuff and putting mud on my face. As cool as it is, I just don't have the time for it. But I digress. So back to this botanical mist. This is just like a mister for your face. After you wash it, you just spray your face with it. I love that the bottle is glass. Like I said, I love her packaging. It's so pretty. Um, it smelled like jasmine. It smelled really nice and fresh. Um, it was a really nice product, but it's definitely not something I would ever repurchase because I wouldn't want to spend that kind of money on water. But I will keep the bottle. This next product is from L'Oreal. And it is their Root Cover Up Temporary Gray. Oh, Temporary Gray Concealer Spray in black. So it looks like I got it from Sally Beauty Supply Shop. So what this is, it's a spray top and it's used to spray your roots if you're getting gray hair. Now, um, I don't have gray hair yet, but I love this for my wig. So a lot of times with the lace front wig, the lace might be kind of um, white or it's showing in the front. Even if you look at my wig right here, this is not like a really well made lace front wig, but sometimes you see it's a little white right here, right? So what I would do is I'll just take the spray and I'll spray it black so that way it blends a little bit better. I didn't do it for this one, but I typically do do that with my wigs and it's seriously been a lifesaver. It really has. Even those wigs that um, have the part like already in for you, sometimes they just look funny. So I flip it inside out and I spray the part and it just darkens it a little bit and blends better. So this was a product I will definitely be repurchasing. So I have this perfume from Dolce & Gabbana and it's called Three. Le Imperatus. I got this from Sephora. The bottle is really basic. Very, very, very basic um, sleep bottle. This perfume smells so bomb. I can't even like, this perfume smells so bomb. People always gave me compliments with it. It's not so strong though. It's definitely one of those perfumes you kind of just spray like if you're going somewhere for a couple hours and you don't necessarily want your perfume lingering forever. Maybe like church or like a meeting you have to go to. It's just something kind of simple. It's not like an all day wear for my skin, but it smells so good. It's just really fresh. It's kind of hard for me to describe the smell of perfume or the smell of things. Um, you just go into Sephora and smell it. Just ask to smell it. It smells good. And it really does smell good on men or women. I definitely do think it's probably geared for women to use. But I've seen guys use this perfume. And it smells, you know, it smells good. It kind of just vibes with your skin. But um, this smells bomb, bomb, bomb. I would love, love to repurchase this one. So now I have this deodorant. And it's called the Healthy Deodorant. The company is called Love Vanilla. And I got this deodorant in Sephora because I was looking for a deodorant that did not include aluminum and that didn't have any parabens or anything like that in them. And that was a struggle for me. I have found maybe two or three deodorants now, like all natural deodorants, but it, it definitely did take a lot of research. Um, this one smells like vanilla though. It's a stick, so you just kind of roll it up. And it does go on white, but if you don't put a whole lot on, it definitely does kind of seep into your skin or whatever um this was actually pretty decent it didn't give me the full 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 protection that i'm used to with my deodorants um i don't know if it's an antiperspirant or if it's just a deodorant i think it's just a deodorant so it does not um block you from sweating a freshly scented deodorant provides superior long-lasting odor protection yeah it's for odor protection it has essential oils in it no harsh chemicals um it starts off with aloe vera juice so that just goes to tell you um like i said as far as protection it was just kind of okay it's not something i would repurchase however i do love this company's sport deodorant like their natural sport deodorant that one gives me full protection for whatever reason i also like the smell it's not like too strong this one the scent was a little strong so i do love the sport deodorant and i got it from sephora the sport one is white and I always see it like when you're in Sephora and you're in line, I see it in that area, like in the, the line area. I never see it out for whatever reason, but love that one. This one, mm -mm. Next is this foundation from NARS. 
and it is their sheer glow foundation and this color is in medium dark four now this foundation was really good especially if you have oily skin I felt like this foundation gives you a really healthy glow but non greasy or oily this was not my skin complexion this was not my color so unfortunately as great as it was it didn't match me um, I do think this is a foundation that is really really high quality and um, if I ever decide to start buying more foundations again I would definitely repurchase it you can find this at Sephora or Nordstrom or anywhere that carries any NARS products Whew, we're almost done guys we're almost done hang in there we are almost done okay so this perfume is from Cartier and it is called oh it would have been good to know the name I think it's just called Cartier honestly it's just the perfume essence de parfum it's a 1.3 fluid ounce. I like the bottle because I like kind of how it flips up like this and it has a little spray top. I just think it's really classy looking and the smell is very classy. I've had men ask about this perfume to buy their wives. Um, I've, I've been stopped by men a number of times about this particular perfume. It's very elegant, it's very sophisticated, and it's very sexy. It does have a very powdery finish to it. Um, but it's a very sophisticated smell and just like kind of like what the bottle looks like and Cartier, you know, it's a very sophisticated brand. I love it. I think it's a really nice perfume. I always wore it in the winter time because it does have a warmth to it. Um, will I repurchase it? No, I wouldn't repurchase it um, because it didn't blow me away, but it definitely blew a lot of other people away. <laughs> Okay, next I have this lotion from Crabtree and Evelyn. Crabtree and Evelyn is a skincare line. You can usually find them in malls. This is from their goat milk line and it's their comforting body cream. It's in a little tub and it is a very thick body cream. It smells so good. I love this line. It's like, um, ooh, gosh. It smells like a like a baby, like a newborn baby. It just smells really, really warm and comforting and lightweight, airy. Like, it's really hard for me to explain the smell, but it reminds me of Baby Blue. Like, if Baby Blue had a smell, that's what this smells like. It smells like Baby Blue. Oh, it smells good. And it really did perform well. It did not leave me greasy, but it definitely left my skin very hydrated. This is something I would definitely, definitely repurchase. Um, the scent is not overpowering. It's very comforting. Like, when I give people hugs, when I would wear this, and it would get on my clothes, and I would give people hugs, they would just be like, wow, you smell really nice. And it wasn't this like, ooh, girl, what are you wearing? It was just kind of like, like a warm embrace. I don't know how to explain it, but just go to Crabtree and Evelyn and just smell it for yourself. It smells really nice. And I was told that this line sells out like this. It's so hard to keep it on the shelves because people love the goat milk line. And last but not least, another product from Lush and it is their Dirty. It's their shaving cream. This is a shaving cream for men to use to shave their face. I used it as a shaving cream for my body. It's very moisturizing. When you have, I think, six of these black containers, you can um, go to Lush and return them, and they will give you a fresh mask, because they make fresh masks all the time, and you can get a free fresh mask if you turn it in the empty container, so that's why I keep them. Um, the Dirty is okay, it's a shaving cream. It's very moisturizing, very thick. It's not something I would repurchase, because I now shave with coconut oil. That works great for me, and um, this is really expensive, and it's just not necessary for me, so I wouldn't repurchase it, but it is thick. It is advertised for men, but like I said, I use it for my body. If you do like creams shaving creams that are like not foamy but an actual cream like a lotion then you would really love that because that's exactly what it is all right guys we did good thank you for rocking with me i will continue to do these empties videos if you like them let me know if you have questions about these products please let me know in the comment section and if you've tried any of these and loved it or hated it or whatever let me know leave me a comment and let me know i appreciate all of you guys for watching this video and just being subscribed to my channel thank you for being a part of my youtube family i love you guys so much i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and that you're all having a blessed and wonderful new year and i will see you in the next video big kisses to you all peace love and light.